Diehard fans, okay, and Danny Phantom 10 years later part one, we did the three main characters, Danny, Sam, and Tucker. Danny Phantom 10 years later part two, we did Jack, Maddie, Jazz, and Danny Fenton, the girl Danny Phantom. Now, Danny Phantom 10 years later, it's time, you wanted it, here we go, into the ghost zone. Check it out. But it didn't quite work, just folks, they just quit. But then Danny took a look inside of it. Okay, everyone's been asking for this. You wanted to see this ghost 10 years later, so I can't let you down. Here we go, it's the Box Ghost! Ha <laughs> ha! I am the Box Ghost! You cannot hold me within the confines of a cylindrical container! All right, with Box Ghost, I'm just gonna draw him normal here. The Box Ghost is one of my favorite ghosts we've ever done on Danny Phantom. We had to open up the show with Danny chasing a ghost before we got to the main story. And it was like, Danny chases a ghost into a warehouse. And so I was like, oh, okay, what can we call this ghost? How about we call him the Box Ghost? And he haunts boxes. And it became such a huge fan sensation that we had to keep doing the Box Ghost over and over again. So creating this guy was really a lot of fun. I figure, and again, we don't do dead guys or girls on Danny Phantom. These are not the ghosts of dead people. He's just a box ghost. He's a ghost that likes boxes and dresses like the workers down in the dock. So he's a ghost who likes to dress like the workers of the places that he hangs out. So that's who the box ghost is. And he's dressed like, you know, a dock worker. So this is the box ghost. This is normal version. Okay, now let's take the box ghost and age him up a little bit. This is, um, you know, I figure with the box ghost, we gotta make him look more serious too. I think this is a more serious take on Danny Phantom as we move forward 10 years later. So I'm just gonna, you know, make him look even more like a dock worker, just an aged guy who's been down by the salt water a lot more. He's been working really hard. He's got a beard now. There's some gray in his beard. His um, Outfit's a lot more realistic. We're gonna add more wrinkles. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to do a little bit more of an actual comic book style for the Danny Phantom 10 years later series. We're gonna try and make it a little bit more serious looking. So this is the box ghost, you know, with some boxes hovering around him as if he were 10 years older. Okay, so for another version of the box ghost, just for the heck of it, I had to do the box ghost as if he were, you know, I guess taking his persona super literally and you know making himself out of actual boxes <laughs> so he was a uh, this i thought would be a lot of fun doing the box ghost as if he were an actual box ghost made of you know squares and um and rectangles and stuff like that because i think would be kind of cool about this i think his body could transform if we were to redo this show the bot the box ghost would be able to transform his body and and make it very cube like and just maybe be able to expand it like a transformer so he could turn into like you know uh, a tall box ghost or a small box ghost or just kind of shape his body like a robot so this is the box ghost made from actual boxes and here is another version of the box ghost. I thought this would be kind of cool, kind of a haunting picture where, because the box ghost is kind of a comedic ghost. He's very funny and, um, you know, he's got kind of a silly, dopey personality. But I wanted to draw a version where he was really, you know, a lot more serious as if he was coming out of the water. He's been in the water for years and years and now he has seaweed draped over his head and he, you know, is kind of coming out of a kelp bed and putting his hand towards you like, He's going to put you in one of his boxes. What is what are in the boxes? And there's always boxes hovering around him with stuff. That'd be kind of a cool weapon that he could have. He could always have boxes hovering around him, but there's stuff in the boxes, like what's in there. Like there could be weapons in a box, like old ancient, you know, like nautical weapons, like hooks and anchors and chains and things. One could have weird sea creatures in it. I think that'd be a very cool power for the box ghost is to have these boxes just loaded with crazy stuff. So this is the box ghost coming out of the haunted waters. All right, now the final version of the box ghost, what would he look like? I mean, I I just thought, let's just keep him as serious as possible. Let's keep him as, uh, you know, I guess, I don't want to use the word deadly, but just as, as, as menacing looking as possible. Like this guy, this guy is serious 10 years later. He's lost one hand. He's got a hook for a hand. He's uh, coming out of the water. He's covered in seaweed. You know, he's, he's sort of more menacing. There's probably a comedic side to him, but I think the key word here is he's gotten a lot more serious about what boxes are all about. <laughs> and I think this would be a cool version of the box ghost 10 years later. Okay, done with the box ghost for now. You might see him again sometime. 
We're gonna move on to another one of your all-time favorite ghosts. I get endless requests about this ghost, and there's some amazing cosplay of this ghost out there. You should check it out, out there in the world, all the Comic-Cons and stuff. This is your favorite ghost. You remember her name, Ember. Okay, so let's do the normal version of Ember first. Let's draw a normal, uh, regular version of Ember. And the great thing about Ember, we really wanted to have a music ghost in the show because Danny's a teenager, all of his friends are teenagers, teenagers love music, hence, the music ghost Ember had to have that. So drawing Ember was a blast and designing her was great, putting the makeup on her face, making her outfit really cool, giving her a killer guitar. And this is really just the basic version of Ember that everybody loves. When we did Ember as a music ghost, we had to give her a killer song. I, uh, with my, my story editor at the time, we uh, wrote this great, great song, Ember, You Will Remember My Name. And um, we sat there, wrote it, and didn't think it would really be that big of a deal. We just needed a song to go in the show, and the response to that song is so awesome, and I'm so thrilled you guys like it. I really wish Nickelodeon would release that song on some kind of an album or something. They never have. I don't know what their deal is with the with Danny Phantom. You'd think they'd take more advantage of it, but uh, they don't, and they own the rights to it. But do you guys think I should get the rights back? Let me know in the comment section below. I think I should give that a shot. I bet they would want uh, quite a pretty penny for Danny Phantom. But anyway, uh, Ember's a blast, and here she is in her normal version. All right, so I'm gonna um, age up Ember 10 years, and I think maybe the rock star life has taken its toll on Ember. I think uh, all the touring, all the bad food, all the excess that a rock star goes through, I think Ember probably let herself go a little bit. It's just one version, calm down, might not be the final version. But uh, I think Ember's kind of let herself go a little bit. She's still out there rocking. But as you get older, it's harder for you to, you know, metabolize your food. You don't burn off things as well. You don't stay as thin as you used to. It's really, believe me, to look this amazing like I look, <laughs> um, it takes a lot of work. So I think Ember has been hitting the guitar a lot, but maybe not hitting the gym as much. And this design of Ember is very reflective of how we made her look in the Ultimate Enemy episode of Danny Phantom, where Danny goes into the ghost zone, into the future, and meets future Ember. So this is basically that same design, a little bit tweaked differently, but this is one possible Ember from 10 years later. Okay, here's another version that I really like, and when I'm sitting here trying to come up with ideas for ghosts, how do you age up ghosts 10 years later? Because they're ghosts. They don't really have to age. You don't have to age them up at all, but for this video, we're aging them up, of course. So I'm thinking, what could Ember have done to herself to make her look older? What, what's, what happens to Ember? I think you would probably get very bored uh, if you live forever as a ghost. So I think uh, in this version, she probably has learned how to play more instruments than the guitar. Like she's probably learned how to play all kinds of stuff, you know, the drums, uh, a little percussion. And I think maybe she needs more arms. So I thought I'd make her the ultimate one woman band. She uh, is basically playing the guitar, the tram, uh, the tambourine, the drums. Uh, if I had room in this drawing, she'd be playing the piano, probably playing the bass, but I think Ember with a ton of arms and just being able to be the band all by herself would be awesome. And maybe I'll put another head on her too. Who knows? Here's another version of Ember 10 years later. Okay, and one other cool version of Ember I really wanted to do, um, again, as you're sitting here thinking, you're like, why do you age up these characters? What can you make them do? What is different about them? Why would anybody want to see them 10 years later? And I thought, you know what? Ember has played so much music in her existence. She's played so many tunes. She's written so many melodies. I think that doing that in the ghost zone, I think somehow in the ghost zone, your body sort of becomes what you are and I figure she's music. And I think in this version, she just becomes music. She is music. And so instead of using instruments, she can now just make music with her movement. She just moves and makes music. Her hair can whip through the air and make a sound. She can move her arms and make sound. I think just her whole body, instead of just having a ghost tail, turns into like a, a music chart and just follows her along in the ghost. You don't just hear sounds when she comes, you hear like music when she comes. And some of it could be deadly, some of it could be you know, melodic, kind of hypnotic, hypnotize you into doing whatever she wants you to do. That's an extremely cool power to have. And I would love to see this version of Ember 10 years later. What do you think? And just for the heck of it, here is another version of Ember uh, that I drew, just aging her up. Um, you know, the Danny Phantom characters have a very uh, uh, distinct look. Either they have a real, real curve in their face or real sharp angles. I gave her a more comic book realistic face in this version. I just wanted to see what she would look like as a real woman and uh, aging her up and kind of trying to make her look a little bit like the voice actress who played her Tara Strong 
and sort of giving her some of Tara's features. And so this is a version of Ember, just looking kind of human, very comic booky. I think I could see this as a painting, or a, this looks even like a cosplayer that I saw online. So here's Ember, another version, 10 years later. All right, so Ember, what do you do with Ember 10 years later? What's the final version we can come up with? I think what's really cool about this version is I went a little more punk rock with her. I just, you know, shaved the sides of her head. I had her shave a Danny Phantom logo into the side of her head, you know, or maybe maybe it's even a tattoo. Just, I think she's obsessed with Danny Phantom. I think she's, you know, she's turned her guitar into a Danny Phantom logo as well. And just keeps rocking out and just trying to either mess with Danny, because I think she might be secretly in love with him, but won't admit it. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, just Ember's got to remain dangerous. She's got to remain edgy. And I think this version of Ember is super cool. And this is Ember, 10 years later. One of my other favorite ghosts from Danny Phantom's world is the ghost hunter himself, Skulker. And Skulker is just a blast. Uh, just what he does, uh, hunting other ghosts to collect them is great because it always makes him a nemesis, not just to humans, but to other ghosts as well. And I love his design. I love everything about him. And I'm just going to draw his normal version here, uh, the version that we all have seen uh, over the years. But I just love this version of Skulker because he's just great, and um, you know, the, and I really dig the flaming hair, uh, the flaming beard, this the the, you know, the plasma that just streams out of his body and catches fire just because you know, and then it's his hunter's mane, it's his hunter's you know, his hunter's look. I, I love the fact that he he kind of looks like an animal and a human and a ghost, and I, I just I just dig Skulker a lot. So this is Skulker's normal version. Let's see what he looks like ten years later. Okay, now we're going to do Skulker 10 years later, and the challenge is, again, he's a ghost, how do you age him up? But I think for the purposes of this video, we have to age them up. So I'm just going to do Skulker, because he strikes me kind of, his type of character, he strikes me as kind of a biker. Like, you know, he's, a, he's just, he, I, I think this dude would totally ride a motorcycle. I think he even did in one episode, I can't remember. I think he might have ridden a motorcycle, but if not, we're going to make him ride a motorcycle. So I think to start off, we'll just draw him very haggard. Uh, from all the years of hunting, I think the years of hunting have taken a toll on him. I think his hair is shorter. I think his outfit gets a little more trim and slim. I think his body has become more, he's like, like rough and more hewn, like just really like, like more muscular. I think he looks more human-like. We're going to make him look more comic book-like for the 10 years later version. And so I just think just giving him some more rough looking clothes, putting this cool chain in his hand. I think this looks really cool. Giving his face more of a skull type of a look. Uh, is one definite way to go. So here's one version of Skulker 10 years later. Okay, now I'm just drawing with a Sharpie here, and this is all kind of just coming out of my head as I go. I'm not really doing any rough sketches here, which is kind of a challenge for any artist. I encourage you to do that yourself. But um, just drawing Skulker from the top of my head, having never drawn this design before, I really thought, let's put him on a motorcycle. I really think it'd be cool to put him on a motorcycle because we're going to stick with that biker theme. And uh, I just started drawing him here, just making him again like an old biker dude, you know, that got still got the flaming hair, the flaming beard, but I think, man, he has just stripped it down. And uh, a lot of the bulky armor is gone, a lot of the chains are gone. I think he's just out there on this bike. I think this bike would have a ton of powers. I think it's powered by the same green plasma flame that powers him internally. And I think, um, just like Ghost Rider from the Marvel Comics, I think, the, I think Skulk would make a very cool compatriot or compadre for Ghost Riders. I think we're just going to keep that Ghost Rider theme going with Skulker and make him look as Ghost Rider as possible. So here's another version of Skulker 10 years later. And again, I'm just drawing with a Sharpie. So this isn't as perfect as I want it to be, but uh, hopefully you guys can give me a break on this one. Okay, and then just uh, going for it here, uh, taking the, um, again, drawing with a Sharpie, just, this is just coming out of my head, no rough sketch at all. Another version of Skulker 10 years later is keeping him as skeletal as possible losing a lot of his musculature and just taking it down to the bare skeleton underneath. Make him look a lot more fierce, a lot more evil, just a lot more enraged and just keeping it to that, you know, that enraged, ghosty, biker, sort of uh, angry, much more serious version of Skulker. Here's another version 10 years later. All right, now Skulker. Um, again, I just see this dude as a biker. I see him as a ghost rider type of guy who has just uh, gotten more beat up as the years have gone by. Like he's lost an eye, his eyes sewn shut. Uh, I kind of think about hooks this time around. Uh, he's got like this uh, hook for a weapon or whatever sharp thing he can find that will just uh, stick into things. I think he grabs ghosts by the hook, hooks him and drags him around the ghost zone with his bike. And I think his uh, beard has grown out and he's just looking tougher and meaner. And you don't want to mess with this version of Skulker 10 years later. Okay. 
Dark Danny. Everybody loves Dark Danny. I love Dark Danny since we did the episode The Ultimate Enemy back in 2005, voiced by the great Eric Roberts. Uh, it's one possible future version of Danny Phantom who's turned evil. So here's Dark Danny. I'm just gonna draw Dark Danny everybody, the way everybody remembers him. Um, just uh, basically Danny Phantom if he had turned evil in the future. I love his design. I love his hair, the flaming hair, the ponytail, the, the Batman cape, <laughs> the, uh, the D in the front. Just to me it's a very killer character design and just really reflective of how cool the show was eventually becoming. Danny Phantom and uh, I know it uh, Danny Dark Danny gets a huge response in any Comic-Con I go to there's a lot of cosplay I see and this is Dark Danny in his normal version now let's see what he looks like 10 years later okay the ultimate challenge for the ultimate enemy what does Dark Danny look like 10 years later like I said he's a ghost Ember's a ghost they're all ghosts they don't have to age if they don't want to but like I said we have to age him up for this video so I think again Dark Danny becomes even darker he becomes an even darker version of himself. I think he's, because he's been trapped in the Fenton Thermos for years, for at least 10 years. Let's just assume that, because he was trapped in the in the Fenton Thermos at the end of The Ultimate Enemy. So I think he's finally gotten out of the Fenton Thermos, but anyone being in that type of a confined space for that long would probably go kind of crazy. So I think Dark Danny has really kind of gone off the deep end and become the ultimate dark ghost. And so here's just one version of uh, Dark Danny. 10 years later, just becoming completely the embodiment of all that is dark in uh, the Danny Phantom universe. I mean, he almost looks like a shadow of his former self. So I think this is like maybe a shadow of Dark Danny, and maybe maybe he can split into m many shadows, multiple shadows, almost like Johnny 13's shadow character that follows him around. I think this Dark Danny has that shadow power times, you know, 200. So. This is a very formidable foe that Danny Phantom 10 years later will have to deal with at some point. And here's a very cool version of Dark Danny that I really was excited to do. Once I started doing it, it got me really excited. I thought I had just seen the uh, Infinity War trailer. <laughs> and I thought Thanos would make a great design for Dark Danny. So I kind of combined a little bit of Dark Danny with a little bit of Thanos and um, thought that would be great. Just real bulky, real big. Just the big chin, the angry eyes. Uh, Dark Danny has pupils, but this Dark Danny does not. He's got the white eyes, which make him look even more deadly, like Batman or Deadpool. Maybe, maybe Batman. So anyway, um, just mixing Thanos with Dark Danny was a lot of fun. I think it makes him look a lot more scary. And I think Danny Phantom 10 years later would have his hands full with this version of Dark Danny 10 years later. And one more kind of fun version of Dark Danny, because he's been trapped in the Fenton Thermos for so long, I think instead of breaking out of the Fenton Thermos, I think in order to get out of the Fenton Thermos, he merged with the Fenton Thermos and sort of merged his body into his ghost plasma form and then into a Fenton Thermos mechanical form. So I think this version of Dark Danny is kind of like Cyborg from Justice League where he's part machine, part ghost, part electronic, part, you know, plasma, almost like a Technus version of Dark Danny. This is Dark Danny merged with the Fenton Thermos, electronic plasma power to the max. Now, Dark Danny, there's a lot of options here, like I said earlier, and I'm just going to go way dark with him. I think by this time, he's been trapped in the Fenton Thermos for 10 years. He just went a little insane. I think he lost his pupils in his eyes. <laughs> you know, the white eyes always make someone look a little more uh, menacing or, you know, uh, just dark. I think uh, he's gone all black with the theme of his costume, the white gloves, the white face, sort of like the Joker almost. And... This dude has gone full-on evil. He is an evil being, and I think Danny Phantom 10 years later will have his hands full with Dark Danny 10 years later. All right, guys, Danny Phantom 10 years later, part three. Did you guys enjoy that? If you did, leave a comment in the comment section below. I have to know that you like it. In fact, if you want me to do a Danny Phantom 10 years later, part four, I need to know down in the comment section. These videos take a lot of time to do, a lot of effort. So I need to know that it's worth it. Tell you what, give me 50,000 likes on this video and I'll do a part four, okay? And leave a list of the characters that I should age up 10 years later. Who do you want to see from Danny Phantom? Let me know, Mr. Lancer, that might be a good one. How about that? Okay, anyway, on the big board today, I'm gonna draw someone who's not on the board yet. From this video, we had Box Ghost, he's up here. Ember, she's up here, and Dark Danny, he's up here. But the one person from the video who's not up here is Skulker. Here we go.
Hey, Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games downloaded here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag HeartFanArt and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.